yo, yo. What's happening, people, man? It's been a while. I know I've been away. Last weekend I was away. So I'm, I end up, I've had to literally catch up with all the sport. So all the boxing, um, well, sport, everything. Through the week that I missed on the weekend. Um, so apologies for the, <laughs> that. There ain't been no content. I've just been busy and trying to recover and trying to, yeah, watch fights and whatnot but um yeah man i want to drop some videos definitely over the, the next day or two and then obviously the stuff will come in this weekend as well um so this i will talk about the other boxes off so i'm this video is just gonna be de dedicated to danny garcia versus jose benavidez jr um this fight i only got to watch yesterday but i finally found a f coverage on youtube that was to be fair it was actually it was muted but sometimes some best time to score a fight you get to see the punches and score it properly um and what did i think of the fight i thought it was, it was an impressive fight from danny garcia i haven't really, don't really see him box much normally he's always having to be come forward but danny garcia's style is actually better for counter punching because he's not really got the fastest hands he's got very flat feet but he did show he can get he could jump up on his toes and move around the ring and he did quite well against a, a guy that's naturally bigger than him even though benavides has gone for call for that well away you can see he's just a naturally bigger guy in the ring, just look look at the sides, back muscles, everything. You can see, just naturally a bigger man. Um, so yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a decent showing from Danny Garcia. I mean, I don't know how long he's gonna stay at that weight. I mean, Charlo's the kingpin there. I mean, there is talk of Charlo moving up to one sixty, so there'll be four belts that just become vacated everywhere. So maybe he could pick up a, a, a title. You know, and then just call it, be a free world champion and then call it a day. Not quite sure what his plans are in the sport. Um, but in terms of the performance, yeah, he, he, I like his body work in there. It didn't look like he had much effect. So his power off that he really, for me, his real punchy power was at 140 when he was knocking people out. 147 to extent, but, I get, but when he fought kind of the elite um, fighters, he wasn't really going up. And at 154, definitely had no effect at all. So, yeah, we had some good, good little shots in their body work. He had some nice little uppercuts. You know, he's throwing that left hook as we know. He, he was throwing a straight right hand that was bothering Benavidi. So uh, not bothering Benavides, but definitely caught him a few times. Um, Benavides for me was too open. It was easy to get hit. Um, yeah, I mean, I scored a fight pretty much a shout. I didn't. You know, I'm mean, actually telling a lie. I think was it the ninth? It was one of them rounds. Between seven and eleven, I think I scored one to Benavides. So he had one of his better rounds, so probably eleven one scorecard. I gave it a bit something like that. Um, but yeah, it was not much to talk about. It was a pretty easy fight to score. Decent performance from Danny Garcia. Just boxing moves, so he showed his bit. Of his amateur, he was a good amateur, so he showed his amateur pedigree in that kind of fight. Um, so yeah, um, that that's that was pretty much it. Really, it was nothing special or anything like that but yeah it's the side of Danny Garcia that we don't really get to see often really he's normally in fights where he's having to push forward and look for the the opponent but you know Benavides was the bigger guy and the come forward fighter so he got to show us different parts of his game but um yeah decent performance um and yeah but I'm more interested in what he's gonna do next is he gonna stay at 154 is he gonna come back down to 147 because he's not big at that he's not a big one he wasn't even a big welterweight to be honest with you he was a good size welterweight um remember he started at 140 so he was a big 140 but he wasn't a big welterweight so he's going to be even a smaller 154 so i'm not quite sure what is what his gains are going to be at this what his plans are i mean he's not got much weight he's not got much time was he 35 i can't remember how old he is so what, what what's left in the tank for danny so yeah, man, but, you know, it's always good to see, you know, a two-time weight, two-weight world champion moving up into a third division to see what his ambitions are, really. He's been at the ring a few couple of years. I know he's had his... He did say it in the post-fight um, interview. He's gone through a lot of depression and stuff like that, so anxieties and stuff like that. So, you know, he's he's coming from a, a deep place over the last few years, the last couple of years. So, you know, you've got to respect a man to get back in the ring and do something that he loves doing, you know, after what, he, after what he's had to suffer over the last couple of years. So, yeah, well done, Danny, man. I uh, look forward to seeing what's next. Um, so, yeah, the fox is running around. Um, um, but, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what he does going moving forward. What do you guys think he should do? What do you, what do you guys like to see him do? 
Um, or do you think, you know, if it's not like a mean if and fight, then maybe you should just hang it up. I don't know. We'll see. He's made more than enough money. If you follow his Instagram, you know that this guy, ain't, money's not an issue. So, yeah, it depends on what you think, what do you, what do you see him doing next. So, yeah, man, just leave your comments in below. Um, not make a long video about this because it wasn't much of a fight to really score. It wasn't going back and forth. It was kind of one-way traffic anyway. It was an easy score. So, yeah, man, um, that's my thoughts really on it. Um, leave your thoughts, leave your leave your opinions in the comment sections. Um, I'm happy to go through them. Yeah, man, just like, share, subscribe, and follow. Yeah, like, share, subscribe, and yeah, do all that lovely, beautiful stuff. Um, yeah, I know it's been a minute, and I'm definitely gonna put some more videos on the other two shows that happen in the UK. Um, in the next couple of videos, and then also I'm gonna talk about some other sports as well. So yeah, good to be back. I try not to be so distant, but um, yeah, like I said, other things got in the way. But um, yeah, man, here to here to make. I'm back in the lab now, cooking up. So we're back. Let's go. Peace.